Lectins are carbohydrate binding proteins. They are ubiquitous throughout the plant and animal kingdoms, though legumes, nightshade vegetables, dairy products and grains have the highest amounts. Non-human studies have found that lectins can interfere with the absorption of nutrients, particularly the minerals calcium, iron, phosphorus and zinc. This has led to them being labelled as anti-nutrients. Some lectins are known to be very harmful. Ricin, a poison used to assassinate people by the KGB and one errant chemistry teacher in the TV series Breaking Bad, is a lectin. But many lectins appear to be completely innocuous or even healthful in humans. People who suggest staying away from lectins are tarring them all with the same brush. To date, there hasn't been any definitive research to show that dietary lectins are harmful to humans. The vast majority of the work has been done in test tubes or on animals feeding them isolated lectins, not whole foods. Newer research has found health benefits in lectins, including antimicrobial, immune system boosting, and anti-cancer properties. Despite this, a new anti-lectin fad diet movement has developed. People such as Dr. Stephen Gundry have released best-selling books such as The Plant Paradox, along with overpriced products like his Lectin Shield that he claims reduce the negative effects of lectins. It should be noted that Dr. Gundry's background was as a cardiologist, and as such, he would have received next to no training in the field of nutrition. The term doctor is no credential to lean on when advocating what to eat. The consensus among credible nutrition professionals is that Dr. Gundry is a pseudoscience quack. Here's an important point that many people miss. Cooking, spraying or fermenting foods destroys most, if not all, lectins. Red kidney beans contain phytohemagglutinin, a lectin that can cause red blood cells to clump together. It can also produce nausea, vomiting, stomach upset and diarrhea. Yet I eat 240 grams of kidney beans at a sitting with zero issues. The Harvard School of Public Health says that vegetarians who eat diets high in plant foods containing anti-nutrients do not generally show deficiencies in iron and zinc. So the body may be adapting to the presence of anti-nutrients by increasing the absorption of these minerals in the gut. Though certain foods may contain residual amounts of lectins after cooking, the health benefits of these foods far outweigh any potential negative effects. Eating a range of whole plant foods and not eating lots of one food at any single sitting can help offset any minor losses in nutrient absorption caused by anti-nutrients. And the final nail in the coffin of this anti-lectin BS if lectins were a problem, then people who ate the most legumes would have the worst health. Instead of that, the opposite is true. The longest lived people the world over all consume large amounts of legumes as a staple. Check out the study I've linked below entitled Legumes, the most important dietary predictor of survival in older people of different ethnicities. Now click this old bean.